the theme of election season 2010. It's Democrats, Republicans, it doesn't matter, we've all had enough. And nowhere has that undercurrent of voter anger been more prevalent than here in Delaware, where voters have already shown one long-term incumbent the door in favor of a Washington outsider. But if you want to know what's fueling the first state's anti-incumbent passion, the answer will depend on whom you ask. I, I'm just so dis disappointed in the direction that, that people are going right now. They'd rather just receive money than actually go out and earn it. People are angry basically because, you know, it's getting harder to make a living. So oftentimes, you know, us by doing every day to day, we, are, we depend on the people that are elected in office in order to take care of some things for us. And I, I feel like from a government perspective, everybody's not doing as much as they can. If there's one thing that's at the top of nearly every voter's mind this year, it's the economy. Folks either aren't making enough money or they're angry about the way it's being spent by Washington. Everybody's had enough. You know, I pay my mortgage. I've never been late. I've owned a home since I was 22 years old. I paid off my own college. I work um, in cardiology, yet I'm constantly, my husband and I, we're trying to raise a family. We make smart choices. And all we do is get punished by paying off everybody else's bad choices. I'm grateful to have a job. You know, I don't I complain about, you know, I'm able to make a paycheck. But I do have friends that have been hit very hard by the economy. And the bottom line is, like, nothing is safe anymore. You know, before we could depend on things, now you can't. Concerns for the future of Delaware and the nation may be where the root of this year's voter outrage can be found. I have nine grandchildren, and I'm worried about my nine grandchildren. I'm worried about my, you know, my children and where, we're, where the country is going. And I think we're, we're, we're going down a, a path that's going to be very difficult to sustain the way you know, America has always been. Still, there are those preferring to simply take a deep breath and let time be the judge of those in office. Everybody needs to exhale or inhale and just uh, sit back and watch as things develop. Uh, there have been a lot of issues that have been tried to try to get us out of this situation. Some are good, some are bad, uh, but you can't blame all the incumbents uh, for all the ills that we're going through. But it seems many folks this year have seen all they need to see and are ready to deliver a verdict. We had enough. That's why we're angry. And we, we want we want everybody else who's voted for this, will, they'll be getting our um, answer back on November 2nd. Patrick Mayers for DFM News.